What up, everybody? It's your boy Magnus, back with my uh, second review of the day. Uh, I usually take a little time in between reviews, especially when getting a new Transformer and, uh, you know, trying to learn the transformation for a little while. And uh, the mailman rang the bell today, and this bad boy was in the box. And as you can see here, it's MP27 Ironhide. Uh, guys, oh man, I'm speechless. This is 32 years in the making. 32 fucking years in the making to get a real quality Ironhide. And uh, we got them, guys. Uh, Takara did not disappoint. They came through in spades. This is the masterpiece Ironhide that you always wanted. Um, don't let anybody tell you different. I know there's some third-party offerings out there, but they can't fucking hold a candle to this thing. This, this beast is the real deal, and I'm gonna show you in my review the beauty of, uh, MP27 Ironhide. So, of course, we're gonna do the overview first of everything that comes in the package, and then we'll get into the transformation. Well, actually, we'll look at the car, because the car is, uh... It's already, you know, in that mode, so we'll give a nice overview of the uh, the Nissan van. And then uh, we'll get into the transformation. Then we'll oogle over the damn robot. Uh, we'll do the uh, articulation and aesthetics. Just like all my other reviews, that's pretty much the pattern lately. And uh, just uh, let's do this. I'm, I'm fucking so stoked. Okay, so first off, we got the box, which is beautifully done as usual. The uh, real Takara box, not a fucking knockoff. Nice glossy uh, Ironhide robot body. And uh, the crazy thing is, in these promo shots, the face looks different than the one that we got because the one that we got is so cartoon uh, looking. It's it's insane. It's beautiful. All right, so I'm backing this up. As you can see here, the Nissan Cherry Vanette, and this is Cherry Boy. This is a beautiful Cherry 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 Van. The paint job on here is spectacular. Uh, Transformers. Uh, let's go to the side. As you can see here, they have Ironhide with his plug on hands that shoot the liquid goo. If I remember from the episode correctly. Uh, the back. The vanette. Uh, showing you all the different uh, accessories that Ironhide comes with, which are plentiful. There's a lot for sure. He's got the sled, which is a throwback to the G1 toy. The back of the van became the sled that held all the weapons. Um, as you can see here, it looks like he does fit in the trailer. Yeah, they, they still made him work. So he does fit in there. I don't know if it's it has to stay open for him to be in there. That might be the gimmick because they don't show him just rolling into a closed trailer. I don't have my trailer out to check right now, so I apologize for not having that uh, tidbit of info. As you can see here, here's all the rest of the accessories. Just close-up looks of them. Everything in Japanese. Uh, let's see here, Japanese writing on the bottom, you know, blah, blah, blah. And there's the uh, Nissan Cherry Vanette. Beautiful, beautifully done. All right, let's put this back. All right, now I'm going to come over to the uh, tech spec card. Of course, in the nice hard plastic. Beautiful artwork. They went all out on this. This is very nice. Um, of course, on the back, picture of the toy and his uh, specs, which are pretty high, because he's a general. He rocks with Prime, that's his man. Uh, another little piece they gave you here for when uh, Ironhide is using his uh, sonar, or his sensor, and you put this in his chest and it emulates like he's uh, looking and scanning something from the episode. Okay, sorry about that. All right, next up, of course, is the uh, sled. And they just made the sled kind of just hold all the accessories. So you have the uh, back cannon, which uh, has a missile that can pop out, but it doesn't shoot, so it just pegs in. And that, you know, it has a little uh, movement on it. It's pretty nice. Uh, the alternate face with the uh, angry open mouth, which will show in the transformation. Uh, the extra hands, the extra attachments. The flames for the backpack, the gun for the top of the car. You can actually put his pistols in the car, which I'll show on the bottom. You can store them away. And then you can also put this gun on top, which I will also show. And then we have the uh, awesome 
car and I'm skipping one thing so let me come over here and bring this up close because it's pretty big that's why I wanted to save it for last I like to show the uh, directions the instructions it's a big sheet this time as you can see here I'm zooming out on it it's crazy so uh, as you can see here it's iron hide uh, they got the picture the whole concept of the uh, car the robot it's tech specs posed out same kind of promotional shots and here we get our nice our nice little uh, cartoon explanations the laser pistols the static laser gun they tell you where they go uh, the liquid shooters which are the ones that's coming out his fingers utility sensor which is a little radar you put on his forearm and then you can put in that little uh, cardboard thing that would be on his screen all right and then let's see here you got the missile launcher which goes on his back right there the jet thrusters this guy is freaking packed with accessories and it's, that's what makes a masterpiece also just all the cool stuff you get with it can't beat it as you can see here the backpack goes on thrusters and he's flying uh, let's turn this over real quick this is the boring stuff the transformation instructions I'll just scan over that quickly um, like I said a huge sheet transformation is not hard at all uh, some parts are a little tight but you just gotta give it a go and it'll it'll push and it'll go through and it's very clever transformation very beautiful I appreciate it a lot uh, you know coming from a uh, bad cubes uh, sun streak or sun surge this is a treat and um, the character alone is a big treat so um, I'm gonna put this to the side I'm gonna cut and we're gonna get into the vanette and then we'll get into uh, how the uh, weapons go on it and then we'll get into the transformation we'll go from there guys this is Ironhide uh, whew, insane that I got this in front of me right now I'm so so happy alright cutting peace <laughs> alright guys so now we're gonna just you know give a glance over the whole car the vanette the Nissan vanette and then we'll get into the transformation so I just want to give you guys a nice look at the uh, paint on this car it is fantastic the only flaw that I see on mine is I have a little bit of slop on the chrome in my uh, headlight right there as you can see and I'm scared if I put alcohol on that chrome it might mess it up so if anybody has any hints on how to get rid of that let me know hit me up in the comments as you can see here in the windshield they have the face like the original G1 toy and the original G1 toy uh, real quick is a prime example of why uh, I wasn't uh, thrilled with Transformer. a lot of my Transformer toys when I was a kid. Uh, I felt very ripped off getting Ironhide and basically he just transformed into a, a windshield with this kind of face in it which was just a sticker on a chair. Uh, I know it was a Diaclone toy and they really killed us with that because I mean as much important a character as Ironhide was in the cartoon and to have such a shitty toy it blew and um, it would never satisfied me and it definitely led me on my quest to, to tell myself at this young age why aren't they making these toys like they look like in the damn cartoon like what is going on here who works for these people <laughs> a little kid is thinking this stuff you know and that's what brought me back here as an adult man this is this is what I've been waiting for and they know that people are waiting for this and that's why they addressed it in 32 years like I said 32 years for this little van right here and this badass bot that you're about to see and I'm just oozing love over this piece so again nice uh translucent blue windows around the whole van right to the back everything is nice and clean a lot of panels as you see here cuts and stuff but everything cleans up very nice as you can see on the bottom also very nice and clean now I can show you real quick while the bottom is exposed that you can stow away the pistols they have a uh, little cut out, cutouts right there. So as you see the back, you just kind of match it up to that and then you just uh, drop it in and clicks in. Same here, like that. And uh, look, it just rolls, it does this thing. Now you can pop this gun off. And as you see in here, there's a little hole, which is kind of like uh, just a little spring. And you'll just pop that in and there you go. And, uh, Ironhide is set to jet, man. He's uh, armed and ready. Got his pistols on the bottom. Ready for transformation, ready for battle. 
Uh, real quick, again, I'll address, we have thrusters, the alternate face, which I'll show you real quick. But of course, we're gonna put it on the figure itself. Very nice. Um, backpack, which I'll just detach now. So you can see the sled by itself because we're gonna be using all these accessories in the transformation. Backpack up close. Peg, you just stick it on the back, very simple. I'll take these thrusters off real quick and attach them. So you see the nice uh, translucent plastic, little white paint detail for right when they're coming out the bottom. Just plug them in, very simple. There you go, ready to go. So this is one accessory ready. All right, his back rocket launcher, like I told you, gold, I mean, uh, chrome plated. You can pull out the little missile, but it doesn't eject or anything like that, like an old school toy, it just kind of locks back in. And this is on a uh, stem that can move. I don't know why I'm at a loss for words on what I want to call this right here. I, I'm disappointed in myself. <laughs> All right, so I, I don't know. I'm just too crazy about this toy right now to fucking get things right. All right, so this you can put on his back as well. We'll use that. There is the uh, little uh, satellite for his forearm. Nicely detailed, all painted silver. Um, Vacuum hands or slime hands, uh, sludge fingers, all, you know, parts that are going to just attach to this figure. Lots of cool shit. And there's the sled, all by its lonesome. Just a piece of plastic. Nice place to store all your accessories, because you can't carry them all in the vanette, because it's pretty packed inside there. Alright, so I'm going to move all this shit to the side, give you one last look. Uh, nice Autobot logo. Takari, you got me right there. I might have to get another one down the line if I can't get that fixed because it's going to bother the shit out of me. You got the uh, Diaclone face inside. Pretty cool little throwback. Beautifully done. Just insane. All right, so after this cut, we will get into the transformation. Catch ya. All right, transformation time for Ironhide. Uh, this is only my second time doing this, so bear with me if I'm a little slow on the draw. So basically, the first thing you want to do is detach the back, which just comes off in a nice big chunk like that. There you go. Next thing you want to do is uh, swing out this arm with the glass in the front like so. And then you go like this, and then there's a silver piece which you're going to swing out, detach that as well. That'll come out like so. All right, now on this side, you're gonna do the same. Pop it all out, detach the silver piece underneath. And then what you wanna do is right here, you wanna tab this into this piece here. So you're gonna kinda push it up to you click, just like so, you just heard that click. Same over here, you're gonna push it up so you get that click. This one's proven to be a little bit more uh, difficult. I don't know why. There we go. I had to put a little bit more force. I'm being too gentle with this baby because I want to take care of it. So uh, I'm sorry if that was off camera. Just click that in there, click that in there. Bring this up like so. The next thing you want to do is bring this around. If you can see here and drop it in. And then you can see Ironhide's face is already right there. And basically what you want to do now is kind of hold back here and shimmy this piece out. It's a little tight. So basically you just want to just keep wiggling it. Don't worry, you're not going to break it. And there you go. See, it's on a hinge, but it's very tight. And then it brings this piece down right here. So now you have Ironhide's uh, head up there. And basically what you want to do is you have to angle this down and you want to clear these windows on both sides and you're going to hook them on top of these windows and slide the assembly in. So basically we're just going to kind of bring this down and around these windows, make sure that we clear them. There we go. And as we're going down, you want to kind of match this up. I don't know if you can see that well. Let me get some more light over here. And you want to kind of bring this up 
and you're gonna slide it in. It fits in perfectly like a glove once it's done. As you can see here, I'm just kind of, there we go. It just clicked into place. There he is, he's holding iron hide, and look at that beautiful bad boy already, and I mean, we're not even there yet. I promise you this will be your iron hide when we're all said and done. All right, next step, let's go to the feet. All right, so let me see if I'm all the way zoomed out. Uh, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna angle out these tires coming out, and then we're gonna fold them in on themselves and tuck them in right there. So basically, you're just gonna angle that out like so, turn it, and click it in. Same over here, just leaves a little force. Wiggle it out on the hinge. So I can show you that, there we go. You hear the little click, it's out. Click it in, move it in until you hear the click inside. Perfect. All right, next step, what we wanna do is we want to bring this assembly around and then we're gonna fold it in on itself and close it like so. So you gotta bring that out and then bring it in. Let me see if I got that right. Pretty sure that's it, yeah. You could actually detach the feet too right now. I'm sorry, just give you a little, give you a little room. Um, next up, same on this side. You wanna open this piece up, bring this flap around on the hinge, turn it around in on itself, and there they go. See the legs are like that. All right, next thing you wanna do is bring this down, but see, cause all the red is hard to see with the reflection. I wanna see if I catch this on the camera better. There's a little tab in here uh, it's very hard to see right now, but uh, it's gonna hold this flap in place when you close it. So as you're bringing it down, you're gonna come on the tab, it's not gonna let you go. So what I recommend you do is you, you hold on to this piece of plastic right here, and as you're swinging this down, you'll just like, give it a little clearance. Uh, it's hard to show, but I just, there we go. I let it get past there, because I don't wanna scratch up the plastic I mean, I don't think it's meant to do that, but I'm very cautious, so I'm just giving you that warning when you flap this down right here that you got that little lip that you gotta clear right there where my thumbnail is. So basically just kinda pull back and drop it in, and then you pass that spot, and now it's closed. All right, uh, real quick, you can uh, extend the knees, which I think that already happened while I was uh, doing the transformation. And the next thing you'll do is turn the leg around, do the same on the other side. And as you can see, we've already got those nice 84 simple bot cartoony legs. And next, what you're gonna wanna do is rotate the feet around very simply, just by turning it like so and it'll lock into place. Same on this side, turn it around, and there we go. Um, we'll just come around the back side and we'll pull out the little back bumper and that will make the heel. Same on this side. And the legs are done. Next up, what we wanna do is we want to take out this panel, which we're gonna do, it's, it's kinda like on a piston. So you wanna untab and then shimmy it out. See, it comes out very simple. And these are the dreaded uh, hip, hip doors, you know, the panels that everybody hates. Me, myself included, I'm, I wish they weren't there. And I've seen somebody has a fix on you know, doing some real crazy stuff to the figure to make it disappear, and that's all cool, but I can't really do that. Um, there's another guy that has a fix where he uh, rotates the door upwards, but you have to, you know, unscrew the pieces and switch the doors around, so uh, every time you do the transformation, your doors will have to come off, and then once the rest of the van is plugged together, you'll just kind of snap them back in, and I don't even know if I want to go through with that, because once you stand this figure up, it's really not going to bother you like that because he looks that fucking good. And um, I know a third party might come out with something in the future. So it's, it's still very early in Ironhide's life cycle. So we have a lot of time to worry about that. Uh, back onto the transformation. So we're gonna untab here as well, pull out. And now what we wanna do is we have the room to bring up the, the, the whole legs. And real quick, just while I, before I forget, bring out this little piece underneath like so. There we go, they'll just come out like that. All right, so now what you wanna do with the hip panels is you wanna bring them in, but as you're bringing them in, once you turn them like this, with the tires up like that, you want to fold the tires in and they're gonna peg into these two slots right here. So basically you just wanna 
fold the tire in, and as you're sliding it, kind of meet the peg to the back. Because if you just slide it all the way in and try to peg it, it doesn't meet sometimes. So just kind of bring it in, and there you go. Nice. So now the hip panels are in, and we're looking at Ironhide, his top body. All right, so next what you want to do, real simple, you want to unpanel, untab under here. So just hold on to the figure right here and kind of pop open the windshield. And now you just want to bring this up and it's going to tab once you're clear. Let me get past that. I wonder what's going on here. Oh, one of my uh, skirts is up. Shit. All right, sorry, guys. <laughs> Um, so basically, once you untab, you just want to bring this assembly up. It's on an arm bar right there. It's on a, you know, on a uh, pivot. And basically just peg these two holes right here. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. Holes here into these two pegs. So just going to bring that in, and that's going to lock in place. The next thing you want to do, real quick, is lock in his shoulders. But first, let's turn the arms around. I'm sorry. So let's get let's get these arms around like so. Oh no, it's like this. Sorry. All right, like that. Okay. So basically, you're just gonna turn the arm around. Shit. Why do I keep doing that? Like this. I'm sorry. So basically, you're gonna do it like that. And now we have the arms. I know they look really short, but we have to transform them still. And now I just want to lock in the shoulders. Show you right here. They just have a little tab, and they're just holding place like that you just bring this one down as well and click that in and uh, we're getting there we're getting iron hide ready to go we're almost there so now let's just bring out the arm and we're just gonna pop this open just like so swing out his fist like that um, also you're gonna see the elbow joint so we're just gonna bring this down and you know bring it out like that and then bring in the arm like so and this will tab shut one arm all right same on the other side open up there you go swing out the hand close up bring out the elbow first I mean the uh, yeah the elbow <laughs> bring out the elbow close back up the forearm of course letting this tab in when it closes there we go boom and uh, there you have it look at that shit <laughs> Buck Prime! <laughs> oh my god, this is so bad. Even with these, which look like they're little pistol holsters, which just fits, man. I mean, come on, Ironhide is like the fucking John Wayne of Transformers, man. He's OG, like a cowboy. He's got that rough growl. Uh, I love Ironhide. One of my all-time, all-time favorite Transformers. And like I said, just to have him here look at this man i'm oh it's insane the perfect iron hide just staring you in the face uh transformation is done thanks for sticking with me it wasn't as bad as i was expecting and uh let's get into the actual figure with all the accessories then we'll get into articulation and then the aesthetics with the final farewell with the mp figures mp27 all right, accessory time for Ironhide. So the first thing I want to do is address the head because that's the coolest part. So basically, let me get him in the camera. You're just going to slide this back piece right here on the top of the head, and it basically pushes the faceplate right out nice and easy. No uh, struggling and getting it done, and you're just going to slide the new faceplate on like so. Of course, I'm doing this through the viewfinder, so it's a little hard to see. Uh, very simply done. <laughs> There we go. I'm sorry, guys. So I just slide the faceplate in. Very simple. There you go. So now you got pissed off Ironhide, ready to bust some Deceptor Chops. You know how it is. And uh, let's put his uh, twin pistols in his hands real quick. Of course, they tab in usual masterpiece way. And with these, I stress that you uh, press down and then tab in, and it'll lock in the hand like so, because they're a very tight fit. But uh, I appreciate that because then you don't have no wobbliness, kind of like how uh, side swipes are. They never stay in completely once you close the hand. So basically, again, you just want to push all the way in like so. 
See, this one's even giving me a hard time. Gotta get it back here. There we go. See, this is what I'm explaining to you guys the problem I was having before. There we go. See, you hear that little click? And now we're in there, and uh, these guns ain't going nowhere. Look at that. Your days are numbered now. Badass. So damn cool. Look at that, man. Oof. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't resist freaking posing this guy right now while I'm, you know, trying to show you guys stuff. He just looks so damn cool. Look at that, man. Fuck. Awesome. Awesome, awesome shit. All right, so uh, next up, let's put the uh, rocket pack on. The uh, missile attachment. So you're just going to come back here, find a little hole, peg it in like so, and uh, there you go. Basically, it's just like that. You bring it out on its arm, and uh, let me angle that up, and you can see how it just, uh, you can move it around on both sides. Very cool, and uh, as you can see from the instructions, cartoon accurate. So very cool accessory to have. Uh, next up, while I have his gun still in, I can show you the uh, satellite from the uh, utility sensor. Just stick that right in his forearm, and he's scanning. And uh, real quick, I can show you real fast. Let me see if I throw that in there. Just pop off the front and slide in this little uh, screen that they want you to put on the windshield. Oh, shit. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> it's not, uh, I didn't get it locked into place well and now it's screwing up my video, so. Uh, you guys will get the idea. It's basically just, I don't know, shit. Now I'm forced to do it because I've already started it. And uh, it's stupid. It's not even worth it, but. Uh, I love you guys, so I want to show it to you. There we go. And we'll leave it in there for the rest till I make the cut so I don't have to deal with that crap. And it looks pretty cool, actually, man. I mean, once it's in there with the screen, it looks like it's glowing with the light on it. It looks like it's cartoony, man. It's pretty cool. Not bad at all. So that's another accessory that goes with the satellite. Uh, next up, what do we have left? We have another gun. Which basically the same thing, I'm not gonna throw it in there, but it has a handle, you know, you just tab it in, you know, he can hold it, you know the deal. Uh, uh, cool accessory, one of the coolest, of course, is the rocket pack. So I'll show you that real fast. Another one, just a little tab, pop it in the back, and <sighs> Ironhide is flying through the skies, going to kill some Decepticons, get his revenge from the grave. Poor guy. All right, uh, next up, let's, uh, I guess we're down to the part where we're gonna just show you how these all go on the figure. So I'll just pop out this satellite real quick. Take these guns out. Of course, they're gonna give me trouble because they were hard to get in. All right, there we go, nice. All right, so now you wanna put on these other accessories. What you're basically gonna do is open up the arm, the arm of course, close the fist, and uh, turn the hand inside out, that's all, just like that. I'm all off camera, ridiculously. All right, pop that back closed, and then you have that hand there. Same on this side, open it up, close the fist, rotate, close it back up. There we go. Now, let me stand this guy back up the right way. And boy, is he uh, solid. I mean, the poses, the joints, everything holds. As you can see, I have no problem of him standing up and holding everything in place. All right, so we have these uh, red, I guess they're cannons or something. So basically, you're just going to tab them on like that. And like so. Simple as that. They're kind of unappealing. I would never use them. The weakest of the bunch. Uh, the next up, we have these uh, sludge shooters, if I remember, or something like that. And there goes one of my pieces. All right, they look like little vacuums. I don't remember the episode. I'm rusty as fuck, uh, but I'll get back to that soon. 
And of course, I do remember this episode where Ironhide uh, shot like lava or something out of his fingers. I don't remember exactly what they were doing, but I definitely have that image in my head, even though I just looked at it in the instructions. But uh, I definitely remember that from the cartoon. So this is a cool add-on as well, as you can see. Um, man, that came untabbed real fast. All right, so uh, Ironhide shooting stuff out of his hands. And that's it. I think I covered all the accessories that came with this wonderful figure. And now we will get into the articulation and then the aesthetics with the MP comparison, which I can't wait for. All right, guys. All right, articulation time for Ironhide. So, of course, we'll come up to the head. The head can look up. It's on a joint. Uh, seems like a ball joint. So, uh... Can swivel all the way around, of course. Uh, get a nice down look. Not much, but enough. Uh, up, down, you know, rotate all around. It covers the, you know, it does the job. It gets some nice, definitely, damn, it's like every time you look at this, no matter how you tilt the head or anything, it just evokes the cartoon, man. So fucking cool. They really, they really knocked this one out. I hope this red is coming through on the camera like it is in front of me because it's glorious. It's insane 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 all right so let's get into articulation we have the arms they come out like so they're on a ratchet clickety and then they come out this way also another ratchet like that and then you can bring them in there you go and uh he's ready to fight uh you have the uh upper bicep swivel very tight everything on here is nice and tight which is awesome um the elbow goes about that far so you don't have like a double bend elbow definitely not and uh the forearms are a little big because they have the windows underneath but uh it's part of the design and it looks great it's, it doesn't bother me one bit of course you have the hip panels which do not hinder the uh rotation so you get a nice rotation in there and the panels are not stopping anything really nice over here on the diaper the silver diaper these come up so uh if you want to uh, bring his legs up like so, you can do that. You can sit him down. Very nice. They call it a diaper. It's the hip skirt, you know, whatever you want to say. But uh, they just make fun of it because it's so big. All right, next up, you have the knees. They got a nice little clickety ratchet. Nothing too uh, loud and strong, but it does the job. So you get about, about 90 degrees. There you go. And like I said before, the legs come out like so. And uh, you can go probably further with the leg, but of course, because of these panels in the way, that's kind of stopping it right there. So this is it for you. All right. After that, you got the feet. Uh, they, you know, these parts rotated around, so they're locked in a place. They're not going to move. But right here, you have a nice rocker on the uh, ankle. And of course, like a, you have the, uh, the real ankles in the back. And uh, so this rocks, you can get into some deep stances. And like I said, as a big boy, he he can hold his own. And uh, just super bad, man. Look at that. Urgh. Just a mean, mean bot. Old school. Love him. So that's all the articulation. I think I covered everything. Just, you know, simple figure. Everything is solid, nice and tight. Look at that, you can just pop him right back, get him you know, into place, and uh, he just, he's fantastic. All right, so let's get into my favorite part, freehand aesthetics and comparison with uh, other MPs. This is it, fellas. All right, here we go. Aesthetics time. Is this the MP Ironhide? <laughs> I'm gonna just keep asking these questions when we get to this part, guys. Will this be your MP Ironhide? If you say he's not, um, I'm sorry for you. You're lying to yourself. I'm that kind of guy. I'm gonna fucking tell you what it is. It's, uh, this is the one. I don't care which third party one is out, guys. They are not knocking this shit. If you want G1 cartoon accuracy, this is your guy. You don't want windows on your feet? This is your guy. You got hip skirts? Fuck it, he's a robot cowboy. He's got sack, you know, gun pistol holsters on his sides. Or get the shit fixed when they come out with a fix. You know what I'm saying? It's not that big a deal. The trade-off for this glossy ass 
fucking beautiful plastic toy. I mean, this is, the, like I said, 32 years, guys. I'm, I'm pining over this shit. I might get hate on this video. Bias, whatever you want to say. This is, this is fantastic, man. And I'm just going to go all over it and let you see everything. It's just beautiful. The back cleans up nice. He's got uh, wheels on his ass. Two buns. Two buns of steel. Fuck it. It's not a big deal. I'm not looking at his ass like that. No homo. Uh, <laughs> little couple screw holes. That's all for the accessories, you know, in the middle. And uh, that's just the way it is, man. He's, he's beautiful. He's a bulky iron hide, but not too bulky. He's fucking solid. He can hold poses. He's uh, His face is... His sculpt is fantastic. There goes my only gripe. There it is when I zoomed up. My only gripe with this figure, and it's on both face plates, is what is that little hole on the nose? Maybe it has something to do with keeping that plastic piece on the face plate, but it's an eyesore. Uh, if I could get that filled in one day, I am gonna do that shit, believe it, because I don't understand. It's not there in the cartoon. What the fuck is it doing there? But a minor, minor nitpick for a figure that can stand next to a... Uh, his buddy, his best friend, Optimus Prime, and they look like they've always belonged together and that they were always here. Uh, look at that shit. Fantastic. And my Prime still has dead eyes. I have to get them colored. So that's a project I am gonna be tackling real soon. Uh, let's bring in some other MPs. I had them on the table for my uh, Sun Surge review. So they are right here and readily available. Ready to welcome Ironhide into the Autobot family. Uh, again, just uh, welcome Ironhide to the fold. Beautiful, beautiful shit. All right, Sunstreaker right there. Getting a little wacky. And Bumblebee as the cherry on top. I'm gonna zoom out. And there we are again. Uh, G1 Bliss fantastic masterpiece toys and somebody is blocking traffic on my block and now you can hear everybody beeping through my window that's new york city guys i uh, apologize for that but at least you see that uh my video is authentic <laughs> and uh just appreciate this man this is what it's all about right here look at these guys together and the main star the main uh attraction takara mp27 masterpiece ironhide Soak it in. It's fantastic. The wait was worth it. It took a long time for me as a kid, you know, being disappointed with the original toy to get here. And uh, I just appreciate it that much more. And uh, nobody understands in my house. I try to share this and uh, they just don't get it. They're like, you're playing with toys. And I'm like, this is, this is so much more. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, if you like the video, please leave a comment, subscribe, like it. You know, let me know. I want to converse with everyone especially about this piece. I know it's controversial for some. They don't want to give it up, but uh, you got to. You got to give it up to Takara. They've been making us wait for a long time, but they came through in spades, like I said before. All right, I'm out of here. I got to go spend some time with the fam. Enjoy MP27 Ironhide, guys. Peace.